Keep it down because you've got those genes. How you identify. How you identify. Yeah, but it's not an opinion that yes, we're expressing this yes, school. It is. No, it's not. If you don't like it, you need to go to a different school. That, my friends, is a woke teacher scolding two students because they rejected the claims of another student who said she identifies as a cat. Welcome back to the JP Reacts channel, my beautiful freedom-loving friend. Maybe you believe in reality like I do. But here is where we like to call out the lies, hypocrisy, and corruption of tyrants, shine the light of awareness on woke absurdities, and highlight the amazing work of other freedom fighters. Today we shall be shining the light of awareness on insane woke absurdities. There is a recording of an exchange between a teacher in England and uh, two of her students. Now the two students were getting in trouble. They were being scolded. Why? Because another student in the class identifies as a cat. And the two students in trouble were saying like she's not a cat. <laughs> and this is the bizarre world we're in. The teacher was mad because they didn't believe that the other student was a cat. And these two students that are year eight, so presumably early teens, they didn't think she's a cat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these are the public school offerings that you too can have for your kids. Do you want to raise young adults who will look at another human and not believe they're a cat? Well, we're gonna erase that kind of objective intelligence out of their minds and force them, coerce them, intimidate them into consenting that a human is a cat. If that human, in fact, says they're a cat. That's what you get at public schools. So we'll take a, a little look at this and listen at this audio recording. Now it's just an audio recording and they have a British accent, which is obviously hard to understand for Americans like me. So in this video that is on the Daily Mail's YouTube channel, you'll see the subtitles on there. And with that, the white subtitles, that's the teacher's voice. Again, you'd think that's not the teacher. That's got to be the insane, rebellious student. No, no, no. So the white subtitles are the teacher, and then the yellow subtitles are the two students that she is scolding for refusing to accept the reality that another human being is a cat. And of course, along the way, they get into gender, and the teacher has some... Uh, well, about the wokest points of view on gender that you can have where the students seem to have what's called a reality-based view. Let's take a listen. If they, if they want to identify as a cow or something, then they're like genuinely on that. Then they're going to be yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> The student, if they want to identify as a cat or something, then they're genuinely unwell. That's crazy. <laughs> You're questioning their identity. No, I wasn't a question. I was just saying about the gender. I didn't say anything about them. But if you get this idea from there's only two genders. I was just saying about them. Now that's actually a great point. If I respect their opinion, why can't they respect mine? My opinion is there's two genders. That's also a fact. Their opinion is there's multiple genders and apparently cat is a gender now. So yeah, if I respect their opinion, why can't they expect mine? Because your opinion doesn't conform now. Sit down, you little brat. It yeah. is not an opinion. Yeah, it's, it's not an opinion. There's only a boy and a girl today. There's no other private part. There's only two. Like that. There's boy and a girl. There's no other private parts. Well, teacher has a different opinion. Gender is not linked to do with the not linked <laughs> to the parts that you were born with. No, no. Gender is about how you identify. Which is what I said right from the very beginning yeah, of the lesson. Yeah, I just don't agree with that. Yeah. So why should I have to listen to that? Biological set, there is actually three biological sets. Because you can be Maybe born 12. Sex, you can be born with male and female body parts or hormones. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, there's three. There's not three on Does it mean? Yeah, there's three. I'm talking about biological sex. In terms of gender, there are lots of genders. I don't think transgender is actually a gender. That's like you going from one gender to another gender. So this woke teacher isn't even that good at subscribing to the woke ideology. That's actually hilarious. The teacher thinks, you know, out of the 72 genders that are definitely in existence, transgender is a gender. No, that's like you switching genders, teacher. What I am drinking is definitely not a Bud Light. That's what I think about this teacher. I don't believe they have a gender at all. Yeah, but you can't have that. You, are. No, you can't have that. It's not a law. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's not a law, but 
it's our opinion, we just don't agree with it. We just think it's all just... If you have a friend, you're a girl, you're a queen for one. Yeah. So. But cisgender is not necessarily the way to be. Is you it? were talking about the fact that cisgender is the, the norm. It, it is the norm. That, that's literally normal. It, it's so normal that a term had to be invented to describe something that is not cisgender. In fact, cisgender, it's so normal, the word cis wasn't even in existence, wasn't needed, because what cis represents is incredibly normal. It it's, could be more normal, teacher. But you identify with the gender of the sexual order that you're born with yeah. or you're with. That's yeah. basically what you're saying. Yeah. Which She's is saying. really despicable. <laughs> it's despicable to identify with the sexual organs you're born with. Wow, that is despicable. <laughs> If you have a wiener and you're a boy and you think you're a boy, that is despicable. Wow, this teacher, she is. I don't think this teacher was held enough as a kid. They, she, he, they, whatever they teacher themselves is, doesn't seem to be very happy. How? When it's if I called my mum right now, my mum would be sad. Yeah. If I called my mum, she'd be sad. Well, that's very sad as well. Then. How is it? Those people agree with that. There's only a small majority of people yeah. who actually think that. Yeah. And why do you think we have so many problems in the world? With homophobia. I like how the teacher, she's just so unintelligent. She can't even track this conversation because the, the students are saying like, yeah, like it's only a small minority of people who think like if you have a wiener, you could be a girl. And then the teacher brings out the word homophobia. Like, oh, you think only boys have wieners? Like, do why do we have so much homophobia? Like, not, like, if anything, use the word transphobia for your stupid argument here, teacher. Yeah, but... Oh, that's... I like how the students actually said what I just said. Yeah, that's not homophobia, that's transgender. The teacher is so ill-equipped with logic. The, the students she's fighting with are helping her form a better argument. <laughs> Yes, I'm fine with lesbians and gay people. Same. I've got nothing against them. That is same. But gender is, there is a link between it. And you're How? saying that people can't change. No, they can't. They can't. Unless you get a penis attached. No, I'm not. You're confusing sex and gender. No, I'm not, though. Because if you have a vagina, you're a girl. You have a penis, you're a woman. Yeah, you can't be, you can't have a vagina and be a girl. Even then, because you've got those genes. How you identify. Are you yeah. So the teacher, she's doing, I mean, obviously a lot of lunacy, but she's doing what is typically done where she's giving conclusions. Gender is how you identify. Sex is what you're born with. So she's just giving conclusions. She offers no argument or logic or rational or rationale for why that is the conclusion. In other words, the logic and rationale that becomes the evidence to justify why a conclusion is valid or invalid. But when you just give conclusions and you don't give any justification, then you're just, you have a shallow, hollow argument. But when your conclusions you're giving are significantly off the base of reality and truth, you're best not to try to make an argument to justify why your conclusions are valid because the more you try to justify an invalid conclusion, the more invalid it looks because there's no truth to build. It's kind of like three little pigs, you know? Do you want to build your house out of bricks? Cool, you're going to have a strong house. Truth is your bricks. But if you're building your house out of straw, then uh, it's going to be very weak and flimsy, ain't going to hold up. So when you're just giving conclusions that aren't based in reality, you got yourself a straw house, so you don't want any wind on it. You don't want the big bad wolf blowing on your house, so you leave out the attempt to even rationalize and justify and explain. It's not an opinion. Yes, it is. No, it's not. And if you don't like it, you need to go to a different school. So I I'm, I'm reporting you need to have a proper educational conversation. About edu about equality, diversity, and inclusion. Oh, I'm I'm because I'm not that. having that expressed in my lesson. When I'm teaching you about, you can be who you want to be. How you that. identify is up to you. Know, Dude, like you can be who you want to be. You can identify as anybody, anything. Like, awesome. I identify as Batman. Go, so I am Batman. Does that mean I need to have my parents killed because Batman 
his parents died at a young age. Do I need to hire a hitman to have my parents killed? Will social justice kill my parents because I'm Batman? I mean, for the sake of equity, diversity, inclusion, please include me as Batman. I identify as Batman. And this teacher is telling me, you can be whoever you want to be, whatever you want to be, just identify. Cool. I'm Batman. If you need any help with crime fighting, give me a shout. Uh, I've also got to let my parents know that they've got to really validate the truth of my reality by no longer being alive. You seem to because I know it happens. because they're polite and maybe they're sensitive. I've never, I haven't said anything in all of the lessons I've been in. It's just because they turned around and started saying something. So I said, how can you identify as a cat when you're a girl? Well, yeah. well they're now writing a statement. I would imagine oh. that you'll be asked to write a statement as well. We will, what we will. So this teacher. She is very confident that the other student is indeed a cat, which is beautiful. And she's scolding these other students for believing that the other student is not a cat. This is beautiful. And thank you for watching this with me. I realize this video, it's you know a little tough to watch given the subtitles and the less than ideal audio. But to me, it's so entertaining. It's such a woke absurdity. It's so amusing. How could we not watch it? This actually happened in the world. This isn't from some Family Guy episode or some absurd show. This is reality. The reality is there are people very dedicated to not believing in reality. They're either suffering from mass formation psychosis or they have reached a point of being so fearful through intimidation that if they don't conform to this 1984 fiction that they're afraid of the consequences. Therefore, they conform. Therefore, they become a useful idiot punishing and enforcing this 1984 fictional reality. I think we can do better than that again. I think we can make 1984 fiction again. So with that said, my freedom-loving friend, I appreciate you watching. And also, if you want to check out some new freedom-loving goodies in my freedom shop, such as the Not A Bud Light Koozie, now become the all-time bestseller, or current bestseller anyway, along with Make 1984 Fiction Again designs, all the classics, all the new ones. You can check them out in the Freedom Shop if you'd like. If you'd like help wearing your thinking out loud so you can more easily and more proudly stand for what you stand for, you can hit up my website, awakewithjp.com. That link is also in the description. But most importantly, thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time, my friend. But until then, stay free, and I'm going to be a cat. <laughs>